Welcome back to the Moose 105.5. Grant here with you in the heart of Huntsville. I enjoy this time of the morning because I get to have some interesting conversations with people from our own backyard and a little bit beyond. And this morning is no exception to that rule whatsoever. I'm very fortunate to be joined by attorney Wendy Moore Mendel and also a member of PIA Law. We'll be talking about ATV safety. We all know that uh, one of the things about Muskoka and about this area is that a lot of times, sometimes people come up here and they kind of just treat the whole area as their own personal playground. But there are some safety precautions that need to be taken in advance. So without further ado, I'd like to welcome Wendy Moore Mendel to Wake Up Muskoka. How are you doing this morning, Wendy? I'm good, Grant. Thank you very much. Well, thank you so much for taking the time. I know you're very busy. So how significant is the risk of serious injury from ATVing? Well, ATVs are mainly used for recreational purposes. The majority of ATV injuries are actually quite severe, things like broken bones, traumatic brain injuries, and spinal cord damage that can actually cause paralysis. Uh, On average, more than 15 people are seen in Ontario emergency departments every day for ATV injuries, and sadly, these injuries are happening most often to young people between the ages of 10 and 24. If someone plans on uh, having an ATV, should they take the time to insure that vehicle? Most definitely. Just like a car grant, it is against the law to drive an ATV without insurance. So you have to insure your ATV even if you never drive it off your property. Insurance provides you with protection in the event that you cause injury to someone or if someone is injured while riding your ATV, and it also provides important medical coverage and income protection to you in the event that you are injured in an ATV accident. Stay tuned for more from Wendy Moore Mandel and PIA Law on the Moose 105.5.